Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Abram Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Karua Cafe Racer. This board is good old fashioned traditional camber. So from contact point to contact point, you have that arc of traditional camber. That's gonna give you all the load, pop, snap, and drive for this board. This board is available in 144, 150, 156, 159, and 164. I rode this board at Arapaho Base on a day that was mostly bluebird skies, low wind, you had chopped chunder, slush, ice, perfect hero snow, perfect corduroy, and I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. So this board actually felt a little softer than the last time I rode it, which, not sure why, but just felt that way. As you can clearly see, it is a fully directional flex, meaning softer nose that progressively stiffens back up to the tail. The torsional flex is very moderate you get a lot of rebound out of it. This board is for the most part super stable. You get a little flap out in the nose and that'll slightly resonate underfoot, but by and large, this thing just cuts through everything in its path and does not buck you. As this is a full camber board, you have to load it up to get pop and what you put in, you get out. It's got solid snap. This isn't a board you're gonna be boosting off everything, but when you absolutely need to pop, it's gonna be able to handle it. Yeah, I did not butter this thing at all. That's, that's not gonna happen in this. Nope, not at all. So let's talk about carving with this board because that's what it's truthfully designed for. The cool thing about it is you want to keep your weight outside the front foot and inside the rear foot. So basically you're throwing your weight a little bit more forward. When you do, you can drive this thing more aggressively. And when you really want to just lay it over, you're kicking your back knee into the center, pushing off the tail and it'll lay over. When you're being a little bit more laid back and you're doing mellow turns, you can ankle steer this board somewhat. It does have a little bit of fight due to the torsional flex of it. It's a little more rigid, but it will let you do short, tight, quick carves. Overall, this thing's a blast for just laying deep, hard, aggressive trenches or short, tight, quick carves. Who's this board for? The Resort Carver. This board is a blast to just rip turns on. When you're ripping a hard carve and you're laying it over with minimal effort, you can change the direction of that carve. This thing leaves trenches in its path. It's lively where it counts. It's damp where it needs to be. Overall, it's just a blast to rip turns with. Comparable boards, the Jones Free Carver 9000, the Libtech Steely D, the Ride Peace Seeker. Binding recommendations, the Nitro Phantom Plus, the Jones Apollo, the Battalion Atom. This has been my review of the Karua Cafe Racer. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you wanna support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.